Hello friends, I am Dr. Chetan Mahajan. I am working with the Pratima group of hospitals at Kachiguda and Kukatpalli. I am a surgical gastroenterologist with immense experience in hepatobiliary surgery, pancreatic surgery as well as liver transplant. I am glad to meet and interact with all of you on this forum. Today I am going to try and tell you something about a very common problem in our society which is called as gallbladder stones, gallstones or also medically called as cholelithiasis. Now what is cholelithiasis or what is gallbladder stone? Basically a patient will start presenting with either abdominal pain, a pain which is very discomforting in the upper part of the abdomen, sometimes radiating to the back. At times the patients will not only complain of pain but will also keep telling about hyperacidity. People will come and tell you that I am feeling bloated, I am feeling tightness. So all these vague symptoms are very common way in which the patient will present. The second common thing is sometimes in an emergency, a patient will come with severe acute pain and then the doctor has to diagnose what is going on. There are few tests or few investigations as we call which are very helpful in this particular disease. Now the first and most common test which is done is called as a ultrasound abdomen or what we popularly call as an abdominal scan. So this is a non-invasive test. It can be done in any good uh, center of uh, you know sonography center or CT center near your place. A simple abdominal scan will exactly tell us about the condition of gallbladder, if there are stones in there. It will also tell us about, give us idea about number of stones, if the stone is there in the bile duct or not there. It will also give us information about the pancreas and so many other things. This is the simplest test to diagnose gallbladder stones. Once it is done, as doctors, we usually tell patients to do certain number of simple blood investigations which also includes, includes a liver function test. Now a liver function test gives us an idea whether there is any associated jaundice, whether the liver is also getting affected and so and so forth. Once a diagnosis of gallbladder stones is done, the best treatment as we popularly called as the gold standard treatment is basically a laparoscopic surgery. Through a laparoscope, which is minimally invasive operation in which there are two or three small cuts made on the abdomen, a camera is placed and with the help of different instruments, the gallbladder is taken out. The popular questions asked, number one are, is it really important to remove the gallbladder? Why can't we just remove stones? The answer is that if we keep the gallbladder, there are chances that the stones will be reformed. So a permanent treatment is a gallbladder removal. The second popular question is that what will happen to after the digestion after the operation? So the answer is your operation is going to be in such a way that the digestion will never be affected. In one week time, patient is able to eat everything and as per his diet which was before the operation. So friends my request is number one don't ignore this problem because if remained untreated gallbladder stones can cause horrendous complications and some of them can be really life threatening. The second important point is that please consider an operation because medical treatment, so-called stone dissolving treatments have not found to be very successful. Medicines, injections, syrups will give you a temporary relief, but the final and conclusive treatment for gallbladder stones is a good laparoscopic surgery. So you or your friends, relatives and dear ones, if anyone is found to be having these problems, please contact us at Pratima Hospitals. Our helpline numbers will be displayed. Thank you.